Alex, start with you here as we talk about um, this downgrade of Google Parent Alphabet. I don't know. I mean, it used to be we were used to, uh, you know, Google being the overlord and Microsoft the underdog. But valuation-wise now, Microsoft is looking a lot stronger. Absolutely. And I think, you know, the, the uh, downgrade wasn't this massive downgrade. I mean, they're still expecting 11% growth with the new time, the new uh, price target from UBS. So it's not like they're killing the stock. But what they are saying is Microsoft is pushing this company to be defensive. And those defensive moves could lead to revenue slowdown for Google. For instance, you take generative search, right? So you now have the first 75% of the window. That's all content that Google shows you. And then the ads below, and that could ding the revenue. Remember, search revenue for Google was up only 2% in the first quarter. So this is already a, bu a business where the growth is slowing a little bit. You add these AI elements, even though you need to do it to be competitive, long-term it could be trouble for the business. I don't know, Steve. Microsoft has a $2.5 trillion market cap. Alphabet only has a $1.5 trillion <laughs> market cap. The PE on Microsoft is... 35 plus, Alphabet's only 26 plus. Isn't this Microsoft Search versus Google Cloud? If you think that they can grow about the same, why bet against Alphabet? Yeah, exactly. And then if you look at what Microsoft is doing, let's just go back to the AI thing for a second, less about search and ads, but also AI. Which of these two companies has a more clear monetization plan for AI products? It's Microsoft. They've laid it out. They're going to upcharge Office customers for these AI co-pilot tools. We have some ideas out of Google how they want to monetize. It's going to be integrated in search. What that looks like, how that benefits the ad business, we don't know. But even on a macro level, let's talk about what Google's seeing with advertising. To Alex's point, a slowdown. But also, this note points out competition. We have TikTok. We have all these uh, streamers going um, AVOD, meaning advertising support, including our own Peacock. So there's more competition than ever just for, for YouTube, just for those ad dollars. They mentioned TikTok as well. I'm not sure that's a perfect comparison, but when it comes to the big TV streamers, YouTube is right up there. We don't talk about YouTube in the same conversation off as Netflix and so forth, but it's up there. It gets just as much viewers as Netflix. Still wonder if a Microsoft win is priced in here. Okay, quick programming note. The analyst behind the Alphabet downgrade will join Closing Bell Overtime. It's a great show if you haven't seen it. I've heard it. of it. That's today, yeah. Bernstein Senior Analyst Mark Schmulik will be on at 4 p.m. Eastern with me and Morgan Brennan. Don't miss it. Nice. Looking forward to that. Okay, here's a fun angle on this Google Microsoft thing, but also Red Reddit is having a huge impact on Google. Here's what's happening. Google executives are admitting that users aren't too happy with its new search function after Reddit protested new changes to the platform. Let's back up for a second and Steve explain what we're talking about. Yeah. Is this the fact, for instance, when I'm Googling something esoteric that happens in my house. I know what you're going to say. And I get a Reddit result yes. and it's very helpful. Right. And because Reddit has gone dark, sort of, that's messing up with people's Google results. Yeah, this is just the dynamite scoop from our Jennifer Elias and CNBC.com. Basically, you know, the top search executives, including the top search executive at Google, basically admitting what we all know, which mm -hmm. is a lot of people will append Reddit to their search queries because they know they're going to get a better answer. Yes. And this Reddit rebellion, meltdown, whatever you want to call it, shutting down of the pages has exposed that weakness in Google search results showing, hey, they're not actually that useful. And when Reddit goes away, we, we don't have You're an answer. You're left with nothing. You're left yeah. with nine sponsored ads. Exactly. No Reddit thing you can rely on right. and nothing else to turn to. Yeah, and it's not just a problem with Google. By the way, this is a problem with Amazon as well. These companies are incentivized by the market to grow their advertising business, and therefore that means stuffing more ads when you search for something. I don't know. Again, it happens on Google all the time, especially if you're searching for a product or a movie or a service, but on Amazon increasingly as well, it's hard to find those good organic results. And, you know, Google is trying, they've had that, I think, Perspectives, I think they call it, yes, is a new, new product they, they launched to kind of make up for this, uh, you know, miss of Reddit. But um, it's very interesting to hear Google's top search executives admit to this.